We're making pinhole cameras today. Yes. Made out of a Coke can, out of a box. Yes. This is stuff you've got laying around the house. Yes, and it is. And this is actually stuff laying around the store. No, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I, I don't think... know what we're doing over here, Todd. Well, you know. Watch the stool. You should have. Watch the stool. You should have consulted with the garment before we do this. Are you ready? Let you know where your directions are. You ready? Uh, Oh, much further drop. We're on, the, you know, <laughs> it's been a while since we've been on this side of the building. Yes, yes. It's been quite some time. Yes. And, and you even cleaned up the table for us. That's why I'm worn out. <laughs> he's exhausted. Today. Howdy, y'all. I'm Whoops. Mr. Holga. I'm Todd Puckett. And he's still cleaning. And this is Don's He cleans his side. Equipment. He didn't clean my side. Yeah, I wiped this side down. I know. I actually, I wiped it to that to, side. And I can tell. I can tell. So oh. we, we have really, because we're over here, we're going to do something cool and exciting and a little bit different, and we hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm going to hope put a pin in that one, but there is something new, or at least something's coming. Something's coming. By and the what time is it? we film this, and by the time this gets shown, we should have the Jason Lane, Lane's... Jason Lane. 4x5 and 8x10 glass plate holders. Oh, that's what we show so cool. Holders. So we're gonna have to actually do a whole thing on that, but yeah. but they're gonna come in between now and this being shown. So when this it goes live, there's a good chance that you've got them in the store already. Yes. And so yes. if you have been dying to have a glass plate holder in four by five or five by seven, seventy five bucks for four by five, one hundred fifty okay. for an eight by ten, a bargain at any price. It is because yeah, and, and they're gonna be here. Here. You won't have to cobble in together your Dallas, own. You Texas. can actually buy a new one. New one. New one. Yeah, because there's some places out there that actually you send in an old one and they charge you about that much to, oh, yeah. to convert it. Where is it. Jason Lane's? Is it the UK? Oh, no, no. Uh, the the, the holders will come. Yeah. Jason Lane's up in the new one of the New England states. New England. New England. It's New England states. It's just snobbish. All right. But, yeah. Well, so that's the that's so the that's, that's the news. So in. let's go ahead and get into what we're going to talk about yep. today. So I'm going to let you do all this stuff. He's going to let me talk. He's going to let me fumble over some I stuff. I want to be fine. The so, Vanna White of the... Today. What we've decided today is we're going to build some pinhole cameras mm -hmm. and we're going to build them out of things that we can just find around the house. OK, now mind you, we're, we're not in the house. We're at the, we're at the shop. Uh, so hand me the the done one right over there. The done one. The done one. That's like a steak, right? <laughs> I want the one done. I want the one that's well done. So I essentially created this pinhole camera and successfully shot it. Yes. Out of a box you had laying around. Yes, that's the fun part. It's just a box. That uh, I had laying around. Had laid around. As far as you're concerned, it's trash. Well, yes, I break them down and recycle them. <laughs> All right, it's recycled. He could very well... This this is a, a pinhole camera, and I have created a nice little sh uh, shutter right here at the front. But what's cool about it is lens, paper. Lens and paper, yes. We are going to be... Well, I have shot in these cameras... The Harman Direct Positive yes. paper. But that doesn't mean you couldn't shoot Jason Lang glass plates. That's true. That doesn't mean you couldn't shoot a four by five film. Preach it. Or bigger. Preach it. You, you could shoot all this stuff. But what I, right. what I wanted to show you guys was how easy it was to make these. Oh my gosh. And as a matter of fact, before was, I had... It was so easy, even he could do it. Even I could do it. Before yeah. I had the idea for this one, I actually had the idea for this one. This is my lovely uh, Coke yes. can pinhole. Yes. So, and I teased me with this one. And I, I tell you what, I, I, I made a nice little I made a nice little pinhole uh, out of this. I've got a nice little pinhole over here. I've got a way I can put the paper in here. And so we're gonna go ahead and make these. Okay. So we're just gonna show you guys how easy it is to make these lovely, lovely cameras. Huh? So let's start with this box right here. Oh, this is the before. This is the before. This is what I had before. This box right here actually had something like the Ilford chemistry like the stop bath it, it multi-grade it's one of those things like that but not yeah. anymore that's right well one Actually, of the first things to consider about this box i should have left the, the labels the sticker, on them. the stickers on them yes yeah one of the first things to consider is this box is not light tight now the cardboard no. itself is light tight yes. enough but the problem is these lovely little corners and this lovely little seam. And so what we need to do yeah. is we need to handle these things. Because so, when, you, when you look down inside of it, through here, you can actually see the light coming through the bottom. If you can hold on to the if bottom. I can <laughs> he fumbles, there's a scramble. All right, so Todd is going to help us some of this. Todd, yes. flip, the box, flip the box over. Flip the baby over. There you go. Yeah. Now here's your, here's your tape. You put it right across the, the main seam there. The big one? The big seam? Right. The big main seam. So, 
Yes, Ooh. there's already a piece of tape on here, but, but it's this is darker type. tape. Yeah, you... It's not light tape. And you can tell, if you can look into the box towards the sun, and if you can see the light, Yes, like when your I box do that, is not light tight. It does improve my my image, but but also when you do this, it improves the video. It improves the video, <laughs> but you can see the light leaks through the corners. Through right the here. corners, yeah. So that's what so. we're aiming for. There there used to be a light leak right here along the the middle seam. Yeah, you. Could he see just that. put a black tape over it. Now, what we need to work on are the, the edges and the corners. There you go. See, look, it's even so easy that I can do it. Well, that was the whole purpose. If we could, if we if Todd could do it, then anybody could do it. <laughs> That's an, and there's I've, truth. Or, I've already done it. There's truth into that. There is truth into that. Okay. Now, now see? the tape that I'm using uh, yes. is not gaffer's tape. It's not like that really thick uh, kind of duct tape. Not that you couldn't use that stuff. This is actually duck masking tape it's got a little picture of a little duck on it and it's it's quack, actually quack, quack, thin quack, quack. like masking tape and i buy this at the hobby store i actually i think i got this on amazon 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 well that's how the the, the, the british the british and, and the, the, so now we're not going to do a perfect job on this but what i essentially want you to see is that we are now wow. we've now yeah. covered up these corners and we've now covered up the middle seam and also you, you whenever you look through i mean it's there's no obvious light coming through the bottom now but you can uh, i would recommend probably doing a couple of things across it strips across it. right and as i've done on that box you'll see I, i've yeah. wrapped uh, some extra tape around it and things yeah. like that now uh on the t on the inside of this box i went because i went a little fancy with this one he really did I mean, this is... is i wanted to be able to open this thing back and forth and so what i went is i put the tape on the inside here to cover up my corners now we're not going to do that so much with this box, no. uh, but because that's not the the important part. Is what I'm right, trying to let you guys know is you need to make your box light tight. Now, uh, mm -hmm. what really would have been nice, and as you mentioned earlier, is if you had something more along the lines of a shoe box where it had a top that you could put on it. Yes. And so, like when I create these, uh, when I create these little uh, pinhole boxes, I don't remember if I had paper in that or not, so I didn't want to open it. <laughs> So I create these boxes. They're out of just... See how it's in, it's inserted inside? I know, but the important part is, if I can get it open, is the fact that it's it's a box in a box. So as you can see, it's it's going to fit in there, and I've got a lip that's going to close it. So I don't actually have to worry about re-taping this thing every time after I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dr. Seuss of photography. So it's the box in a box. It's a box in a box. Not and the cat so, in the hat. I, I, one of these days we can show you guys how to make these, or maybe we'll make some kits or something like yes. that. Today, it's today, today and dirty. Today, not, not easy so peasy. Much. So, what we yes. would do is we would take the paper, the paper, and we it we it's going to go essentially in the far end of the box. So, which means on, on the, the other end of the box, we need a hole. Yes. And you know what? We, and I love we, this. We forgot your knife. Oh well, you want me to make a square? Yes, I do, but I want a square that's going to be about this bit, the, this big. Oh, it's going to be small. Actually, it needs to be smaller than that. Smaller. So take your pen and just kind of mark where the outside dimensions. Well, well, I don't really need to do that, but okay. Well, just mark where the, yeah, that's all I did. So I give you a nice general idea of, now obviously you need to cut smaller than that. <laughs> By, let's say about a quarter of an inch. Uh, so I, now I, he's all he's going to do is he's going to cut this hole in the box right now, which is what we now don't throw that piece away because we want to keep it. Mm -mm. And if he can keep if he can do it without uh, killing that piece, then this is going to make us a lovely, lovely shutter because it just fits right in the box because it cut, came from that low that very spot. Medic. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. Uh, we'll just wait till we do this one. It's way much funner. Oh, no, no. Yeah, with, I just looking, we need, you probably need a knife that doesn't have like a big end on the other end because that's, it's making like the big little holes. That's fine. I it know. doesn't have to be super. For today. For, for today. For today, for, uh, for our first time box pinhole maker, this is okay. Whoa, yeah. Kind of look And it doesn't matter if you overshoot the. Whoa. Now, now it's really getting really fun, guys. Yeah, man. I mean, almost dangerously close. Ah! And he's got a hole. 
They're like calf roping, you know? No. So if you it's were done. to put this in the box... Yes. It, so clearly that's going to be able to fit that entire hole, right? Yes. Oh, clearly. Clearly, clearly, clearly. All right. Well, before we attach... Well, yeah, it does fit, but it, I could have... Should have been a little... Probably a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. That's, that's should have been. All right. You're still going to tape it up. Yes. So we'll set the box aside and don't lose your shutter. Yeah, uh, the shutter. And you inside. have this is uh, this is essentially a piece of coke can. Uh, so I, in order to make this lovely one, I ended up killing several coke cans. But that's okay because uh, since I already had the tops ripped off, I just take my pe uh, pair of scissors and I cut them up into these nice. I don't know what is that about an inch and a half, inch and a half square. It's that much. By that much. Now, the, you can make that whatever size you want, but what I like about this is it's a nice, uh, thin piece of of, of, of metal. Send metal, send, send signals. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And Sorry. It's, it's nice and thin enough that we can poke it with the needle Ooh. to make the pinhole. Yes. Okay. But what do you put this on to poke? I don't put it on oh. anything. So let me grab And alive. Let, Trade let me, secrets. Let me being grab given another. away right here. All right. So. I'm going to show Todd, and then he's going to make one. So I'm going to just here. I've got the same thing right here. <laughs> I'm going to poke a I hole don't in like here. Needles. I'm going to poke it Pretty just nice. enough that I can see a little divot coming through. See? I see the divot. And I'm actually going to make the needle kind of go through. So I went about that far through. Yes, okay? you did. So I went about just that far through. Just to the point where, where it started to... Now, that has created a rough edge. Yes, it did. And so then I take this lovely piece of sandpaper, and I sand it down a little bit. Now you do that to where it says your needle's crooked, man. Okay. Now I have taken the rough edge and now I have a teeny tiny little bitty hole in here, which I'm going to guess is probably about a third of a millimeter in size. Uh, that is my best guess. Now you can measure these. There, there are instructions online to be able to measure these. Mm -hmm. But that's really all it takes to actually make a pinhole. Now, there are laser cut pinholes out there that are very precise. We'll tell you exactly what they are. But, you know, when you have a, a homemade pinhole like this, that could be irregular, there could be some jaggedness to it, you get much, much more interesting pictures. Now, if you actually Whoa, look at it, yeah. so we should be able to look at you. If you hold it up to the light, you should be able to see. Oh, I see the hole. You should be able to see the hole. Now, mind you, you guys can't see the hole, but no. we can from this direction. Oh, he's got a much bigger hole than I do. Yeah. So, well, I can't. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Man, that's yeah. My hole's a little bit rounder than his hole. <laughs> it's not a competition. We're gonna edit that part out. No. <laughs> See, so, it's because he knows it's true. So you're just gonna take tape and you're gonna go around the edge of that. Okay. I uh, put it at least on one side. Then you're gonna position your pinhole over the hole in there. And then you can finish taping it up. This is the shutter. Thing. Yeah, the don't shutter. lose your shutter. Don't lose your shutter. You kind of mangled your shutter. I did. I did. I tell you what. I know fourth graders that can use a steak knife better than that. Okay, you got one. Wait, wait hold on. I, I'm actually going to try to line that up because because it has sort of a, the predetermined square part. I'm going to try to get that lined up. This is pinhole photography. It does oh. not need to be this precise. It does. It is not. It's yes. pinhole yes. photography, Todd. Wait, I'm way off. <laughs> I'm getting further and further away. <laughs> there we go. It's such a simple job. He has one tiny job. One. Here, here's another Mammoth piece of tape. Job. Here, another piece Look of tape. Another piece of tape. Man, a lot. He's trusting me with the tape. I know. My this valuable tape. I had to uh, I had to buy this during a, a lockdown. I couldn't go to a store and get it. So it was online. Yes, it was. This is online tape. Free wow. delivery. Free delivery. Wow. I know. Isn't that great? I hope. Like I, can... I said, there there is a way to measure these online. Wow. This is actually kind of fun. So you have it in there, which is great. Uh -huh. Now, what you would do at this particular point is you would put your little shutter back in place. Yes. If your shutter, if you have uh, over steak knifed your, your shutter to where it doesn't hold, you might want to put yourself a piece of tape that will keep it in place. No. I but for the most part, it looks like it's going to hold. 
Was there a doubt? Yes, there's always a doubt. There's no doubt. Um, in that bag over there, is there a, a loose piece of paper like this? It's Felix's bag of tricks. Yes. There you go. All right. So this is my test test piece of paper. I use it for most of my sizes. Now you would do this part in under a safe light in the dark room. You're essentially going to take some double stick tape on the back here. I'm putting it on the back. Now this is the Harman direct positive paper and the difference you can tell from the back to the front is the, the emulsion side is shinier and I believe it's pink. But you're now, this one I've had, this one I've had. See that in this the dark, one, well, though. you're not gonna see that in the dark, but you're gonna see it under safe light. Yeah, safe light. So uh, I've had this one out so long, it's now yellow. Yeah, because the ASA on that is so low. It is so very low. So now you would put this at the far end of the box. Like yes or yes or. Does it doesn't it really matter. matter because you have enough room that you could put it I either do. way. That's the only thing is that, yeah, I'm going to try to figure it out by this right here. There we go. Okay. I'm, I'm using now the show, back of this. show them the inside of the box where the, the pinhole is at the top and the paper is pinhole at the bottom. Pinhole is right here. You see that? Uh, up at the yeah. top and the paper is at the bottom. There you go. So if this was in the dark and we were uh, this was live paper, the only thing left to do would be to close the box. Tape, tape it, it all. Shut. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now. Ah, well, we don't need to be perfect. <laughs> today. <laughs> no, not today. What is this for? The sides? Yes. Oh, the corners. Yes, of course. Remember but yeah, that's right. Corners. We were doing it on the inside. You got to do it on the corners again. On both sides? Yes. I'm not going to go completely with this, but yeah. Right there and right here. And voila, you have a pinhole camera. A pinhole camera box. Yes. Now with this other pinhole camera, I have, I, I shot, I made some shots, okay? And this was my first shot. With this one right here. With that one right there. This is my first shot. And as you can see, it is very light. Whoa, evenly exposed all the way across. <laughs> well, and as you can see, I, I, what I did was I put the tape actually on the film itself. Yes. And so that's why these are dark because this is direct positive paper. Anything that is not But that exposed, came from this one right here. That came from this camera right here out there. Mm -hmm. And so you can very see, faintly see I've got some cars in the, in the parking, parking lot. Yes. Uh, I, I didn't go very far to take these. So, but as you can see, it's clearly overexposed. Yes. Uh, I did use uh, the MrPinhole.com site. I did put in a rough estimate, but it, clearly my estimates were wrong. So either the pinhole size that I had judged was wrong, or maybe the distance was wrong. Your but, pinhole is actually a little bit bigger than mine. Well, but Which it, it doesn't matter mine? because yeah. I immediately, I brought this in and I said, I, you know what? I, I will just redo one. it. And then said, hey. So now I brought in this one. So this was my second shot. I just cut the time in half. And yes. And well, now this is a windshield of somebody's truck. Uh, it's nothing very exciting to look at, but you know you can see the windshield, yes. you can see the wiper blades, you can see the power lines. Yeah, the trees in the back. Yeah, the lights out front. I, I still made a photograph. Light. Yeah, it's not a great photograph, but no, no. <laughs> they, they never are. It's are typical they? for him. Uh. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, oh, he went there. No, you can actually see the windshield wipers too. Yes, you can. Yeah, that's what that is. So, I mean, it worked. Yeah. And and it was very simple to make. And, yeah. and you and did this in what, no just, light, just a few leaks. minutes. Not no light leaks, you know, coming in from any part of it. So I mean, this is, you know, if you're if you're a photographer now, and you want to show your kids how to do this, this is a great project. And then if kids. you really, really want to go whole hog on it, you would before you do all of this, you would just spray paint the inside matte black. Yes, yes, because the next one will kind of show you that we had a and little bit of a we'll difficulty. Show you, with that one. This, this will be the wine. So the other pinhole I shot while I was out there was this one that I've already made. Yes. And mind you, this is a box in a box, and I've created a nice little moving shutter. But I still have the the soda can here for the pinhole. I've got this for my shutter, and it's you know it's all taped together, and it's just black uh, foam core board or whatever it is. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's what less than a quarter of an inch. These are pretty easy yeah. to make. This has got a two inch. Uh, focal plane to it. I think it's like an F one sixty one worth of a camera. I think that that initially uh, estimated is something like an F seven fifty six, 
but obviously the, clearly that math was wrong. So I, I cut it in half. So it's, it's around the four hundreds with this mm -hmm. camera. I got away with this. Uh, let's see at first I got away with this lovely shot. You can show that one to the camera right there. Whoops. Try to get the, well, actually I got yeah. away from, but I don't remember which one's first. So I got these two lovely shots. Kind of hanging down so the light didn't. Yeah. Well, these are kind of over. They are. Over. Yeah. They're overexposed. Yeah, this is the front of the store, and this is just my car sitting right next to it. So with just, I don't know, about a minute's worth of exposure, and here I've got some I've got some pictures. It's not bad, right? Yeah, yeah. This is what you'd expect from a pinhole. Right, and then Big Boy here. What is Big Boy? I've got all my stats written on Big Boy. Big Boy is an F212. It's a 8x10, and I use the 8x10 Harman Direct Positive Paper. The eight by ten. Eight by ten. And it's and, a world of difference. In and the, in it's the, a world of difference in the, the in size the that I yes. got here. So this is just set on the ground in front of a car on the parking lot. But hey, it's a lovely image, right? And how long did you say the exposure was? Uh, I think this exposure was about a minute and a half. Okay. So that's your, you only did one shot with that. I, I didn't do any other shots. So this is the only that's shot the only. I had in Big Boy. It was about a minute and a half. And uh, I probably could have let it develop just a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, but you know, this is this. So is you, still you've nice. actually been shooting that camera before, and so I have shot kinda, this camera. Before. You're familiar with how long you should. Well, you're, you're, I I know um, because I had measured the pinhole, yeah. I had measured the box, I had done, I used the MrPinhole.com app that I knew I had all my calculations right. correct. Lots so, uh, as a matter of fact, I have a preset in the Pinhole Assist app for this particular camera. So mm -hmm. I don't really have any issues with this camera. This one works really well for me. It does. Good photo too. This camera has it was not as lucky it has its little issues but we're still going to make it just the same mm -hmm. because i mean think about it this is a teeny tiny nice concise little camera it's very it, i i just love this little camera the fact yeah. that it's there's a however company that actually uses sort of a bigger like the monster drink size oh yeah yeah, the, yeah. the solar cameras the solar cameras yeah a lot of people are making these and what they'll do is they'll put the paper they'll put regular uh, dark room dark room paper and they'll leave it out for months on end mm -hmm. for their solar projects uh yeah. solar cam projects and it tracks the sun over time and really something cool. about um uh the paper and the light it actually although it's black and white paper it looks like it's in color because it's been eaten up by the sun for all those months that it, reciprocity it, it, it starts messing with the color on the paper mm -hmm. so this one little camera actually comes from two cans two cans so i'm going to help todd with this one a little bit because it's not nearly as easy i i found if you're going to want to make a coke can one to get the uh, the top off it's best to use a can opener makes sense a can for a can first thing is to get rid of your little tab because it gets in the way now normally when you put it on there you think oh i'm just going to wind this sucker around it's going to come off no, no. it doesn't i kind of actually just go through here and clip it Oh, it doesn't really roll, huh? It doesn't roll. But then once you get it done like this all the way around, you can kind of roll it to get it finalized. A little bit. Okay. Well, we will clean up the edge a little bit because, uh, you know, you don't want anybody cutting yourself. And I think that's where I spent most of my time was uh, kind of making this a little bit pretty. But this is the body of the camera. So you want to be kind of careful with it because you don't want to mush the can up. Almost there. I know exciting, isn't it? Talk amongst yourselves. Hey, I tell you what. Paint, watching paint dry is about as exciting. <laughs> and well, while we're doing this, uh, you know, we can't thank you guys enough for the uh, views from our cheap plastic camera video. We got so many views on that video. Boom. Yes. It exploded. It exploded. So, yes, I have removed the top with the can opener. I did, like I said, I didn't twist it around because it always kind of got bound up on me. Uh, and, yes, this is going to be sharp. However, we don't really need to do very much with this at all. Okay. We can just set it aside. This camera becomes yes. the, the donor camera. Oh, my The, the top donor. Where'd our steak knife go? Oh, over here. Uh, whenever you said you killed something, I just moved it over inside. <laughs> Well, I know this is the fun one. Yeah, that knife was halfway sharp. Not anymore. No. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Now that's the fun part. I don't. I don't really need very much after that. I just need to be able. Because the, the great part about aluminum cans is that they do cut very nicely with scissors. Sure. And so I will now. What I'm going to do is I'm cutting up to the first ridge here, uh, just where it starts coming down, because that will create enough lip that these cans will fit together nicely. <laughs> without any issues. Don't yeah. give me any lip. That's right. That's right. You know I was thinking it. Yeah. Uh, it's, again, that's that's a lot more exciting than watching paint dry there. Yeah. Because I could have cut myself. Well, that would have been a lot more exciting. All right. Now, I pushed the, I pushed the little tab top back up. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be light tight, so we're going to be putting a lot of tape in there. Yes. But first things first, we're going to you bring that can back over here? We're going to kind of make this safe. Because yeah. we're going to take a piece of tape. You can let go. There you go. Wow. Okay. And now I'm just going to take some scissors. Why don't you just put it? Yeah. Oh. Ouch. I told you to be careful. I know. That's a little sliver of a. Uh... I told you, this is dangerous work. Right, yes. So now I'm just going to... Children should be supervised while doing this. Well, the cardboard boxes... I don't know, the steak knife. Steak knife, true. All right. There you go. And it's now... Safe. It's now Todd safe. Todd proof. You know... Todd, Todd won't hurt himself on that one as Todd much. is Todd, and we all know Todd will make mistakes when Todd can. Todd, Todd, Todd is Todd. Oh, see, I did not pull off enough tape. That's okay. Because I need more tape. <laughs> and you just stick right to it. <laughs> All right. All right. And, of course, I'm going to do the same bending over the tape. So, I'm really, I'm just putting the tape on there loosely. I'm cutting some slits in it because I'm going to fold the tape on the inside. Yes. All right, so I've essentially, the tape is going around. I made like little loops. I'm just going to fold over the tape. And exciting. I oh, know, look at him exciting. bend the tape. Sorry. And I just want to be able to make sorry, sorry, sorry. a removable top. There you to go. This. However, it's not light type. I'm going to hand you some tape and you start covering the top. People, don't pop your top. Now what am I going to do? You're just going to start covering the top of the, of the can. Because you know, the inside of the, the top. Inside. Oh, well, you know. Tell me I that. have to be specific. We're, it's like we're making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and he doesn't know what peanut it, butter it's is. It's like, okay, you want the peanut butter on first or the jelly? I mean, there's a pattern. Well, cover all the aluminum if you can. Well, okay. Oh, I can. And don't worry about it being doubled up or anything I'm like that. I'm not worried. If double up is better. Double up is better. I'm just trying to figure case. out what is the best way to do this. Whoops. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm doing need tape. And then you kind of go around the edge. So this is more and more up around the edges. That and, should be enough. Oh, that is plenty, plenty, plenty. Now, see how everything in there is covered up. It's all covered up. And then the reason we're putting the tape in the top there is because the pop top has already been popped. And so essentially that is an... Light that is seal a, This is a place where light can get through. We have now covered it all up. So that's not going to happen. And now again, if, you know, more time, spray paint the inside of this. That would be good. Black. Now, matte, matte black. Now the not uh, glossy black. Where did you where did you go with my one tool for making up oh, my pinhole tool? Is that not it? No. I, oh, the tool, the, the tool, the noodle, the needle, the noodle, the noodle. Oh, why? No, I'm not doing this. You are. <laughs> so I always pick the ugly section, but poke yourself no, about there, there's about silver. Like about right. midway down. Yeah, put right yourself there. a hole. Now you don't have to put it directly in the center. You could put it a little higher, or you could put it a little lower. You could oh, actually, no. You could put more than one in there. Oh. Did the, uh, <laughs> you, put, you pushed the needle all the way in? <laughs> the needle is, no, I mean, it's like all the way in. Like I said, it, it could be in the center, or it could be a little higher, or you know it could what? be a there's little. Still, there's liquid in here. Well, that's fine. I um, I was drinking out of these yesterday. Shit, then. I mean, there's soda cans. There we go. Oh, that's a big hole. Well, that's fine. And take the sandpaper and smooth it out on the inside. The reason, like I said, it, the jaggedness of the pinhole will 
make your pictures fuzzier. If you can make your pinhole smoother to the touch, then what you have is a nice thin lip on there and it actually makes sharper pictures. There we go. All right, so you now have a pinhole in there. Yeah, and I don't know if that's, well, Oh yeah, that, there you go. That, okay, that's a that's an actual hole. So now uh, we have to create a shutter for the pinhole. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you a piece of tape, and we are going to use. No, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna get you a piece of tape, and I'm going to fold it over just a tiny little bit. Do you see fold okay. it over tiny? Oh little bit? Yes, yes. Okay. Fold now it over. cover the pinhole with everything except for the folded over bit. I understand. That I understand. And then on top of that. I want you to add more tape. On top of this? On top of that. I just want it to be double thick. That's all. There you go. That is the show. Two, layer, two layers. And you sit there and you go, voila. Voila. You will just pull it off, voila. expose it, put it back on. And that's your shutter. That is your shutter. Now, as I found out from this one, I was actually kind of concerned that the uh, that light was actually getting into the top here. So after I put in a piece of paper, what I ended up doing is I went and just took a piece of uh, paper, a tape and I actually went around the complete top there just to make it. Because right now all I have is like two pieces of tape holding it on there. Yeah. And I found that probably wasn't enough. Because I think, because the inside of the cans are still silvery, if light gets up there a little bit, it can it still bounce around. around. Yeah, that's why you spray paint with... Because nice. this or this, I forget which one, one of them was my first exposure. The other one was Again, my second exposure. Evenly exposed all the evenly way Evenly exposed, completely. So they're completely white. So at that point, you sit there and go, well, was it the paper? But well, I was go, thinking one was, about a, one was about a minute and a half. The other one was probably just under a minute. It's like, okay, so I just kept dialing it down until, da, ba, da, ba. until I got a 20-second exposure in the parking lot. Yes. 20 yes. seconds. 20 That's seconds. And through here, I can actually see the telephone poles, the lines. Yes. Oh, this is dark and moody. I like this. It's uh, and because the paper is in here at a curve. Yes. It's got a distorted feel to it, which is fantastic. Yes. So the paper inside was about like yay so. Yes. And you see the clouds kind of coming up at a different angle because yeah. of the curvature. I love this camera. Oh, yeah. This is a cool. This is a cool Whoops. pinhole camera. There you go. Right there. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to recommend putting the tape around the outside to make sure this thing is nice and tight. Yeah. And I also recommend try and write your information on the bottom so that you kind of know. I estimated this as a F220, but I'm going to remeasure that to see if I can't get a more clear uh, measuring of what this camera actually is. Yeah. Man, a lot. That's actually very easy to do. And Very it's around fun. stuff and it's around the house. Yeah. The only thing that's not around the house, obviously, is some harm in direct positive paper. You're gonna have to get some uh, some direct positive paper or some film. Yes. Or if you're gonna do like a little box like that, lots there, you of can do some glass plates. Glass plates, lots of things you could do. Lots of things. Uh, and uh, the multi-grade. So the multi-grade was essentially what I developed the Harmon paper in. Uh, yes. Got that off the shelf. I said, Todd, I'm taking some off the shelf. <laughs> uh, and so I just I took it into the dark room over there, or the makeshift dark room, the one with the toilet. It's the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just uh, threw out the pans. Not and the customer bathroom. It's the employee bathroom. It's the employee bathroom. It's, it's far worse. Yeah, far, it, it's far worse. far worse inside. But my dad like taped up and he painted did. the the door hinges. Put uh, put uh, was it the uh, paper or taped up things at the very bottom yeah. for light leaks underneath. So it's all it's pretty good. Up. It's pretty good. The, the only problem is you have to do the stuff on the floor because there's no table in there. No, no. <laughs> well, you could have lowered the. So there wasn't a toilet seat. There's no toilet seat <laughs> no. either. <laughs> it's the employee bathroom. So that's right. The toilet seat broke. <laughs> so uh, a very uh, small dark room uh, in your house. You could turn a bathroom into a dark room. Well, you right. just need the mm -hmm. multi grade. You need a fix. Yeah. You need the well, stop, low, the fixer, and water. You can also do the um, light, uh, the bags, the changing bags to load to do the loading. Loading. Yeah, but I was just talking about the but, developing. Yeah. You're but absolutely developing right. So the other. That's but you know, right. you, you create one of these, you take it for a walk. People ask you if you're drinking a soda. No, you just set it down. You take a picture, you leave it. No one will ever know you took this picture. Well, somebody may come up and pick it up for recycling. Hey, look, there's a nickel. It's a nickel? Yeah, it's a know. nickel? It's not. It's probably, uh, probably two cents. Maybe, nah, it's probably like a dozen is a nickel. But yeah, 
Well, so you know what? I, if you guys have made some homemade uh, pinhole cameras, we would love to know about them. So if you could leave something in the comments, let us well, know what you've show made. Show us a picture of your show, show us a picture, picture of, of your... your pinhole camera. Yeah. Uh, tag Don's used photo. Uh, Don's used photo pinhole, and we would love to see it. Yes. Uh, show you know, show it us in Instagram, well, Instagram, Facebook Don's used, at Don's used photo. Just there. Just if yeah, if you tag, if you tag Don's used photo, we will definitely see it. Yeah, and, and obviously we're gonna like it as well. So. Do we have anything else, Todd? Well, did I mention? No, what else? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there'd be a pop quiz. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all we have. That's, that's it. Because I, I you talked already to, talked about the late uh, the plate holders. The plate holders are coming in. That's exciting news. Also, I got restocked on my Cinestill C forty C S forty one. Grab a box. They're right liquid. there. It's right here. It's baby. right there. It's a mountain of boxes. Like, yes, I got the liquid edition this time. That's yes, right. I, I tried the powder in a separate video, which is going to put a link above his head. But uh, here is the liquid version the if liquid you don't version. like powder. You don't like the powder? You like? Oh. I got some in. I also got restocked with, what else did I get restocked with? Kodak Gold. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got restocked with several things. I even got the the FPP 120 film in. The oh, Wolfman okay. 120. The got, Wolfman. Where I got 10 rolls of that in. And, well, it's uh, after Halloween. Nobody wants. I it. no, but it's they've been they were selling it year round, so it still is. And uh, man, I tell you, sold a lot of film today. Well, a lot of one twenty film, so I'll have to be reordering that. But yeah, we we got some new stuff in to restock some of the old stuff. Now I have to do more orders. <laughs> you know, he's got such a rough ends. life. You guys yes. keep buying stuff. He has to. I have stuff. to keep buying stuff. And then my mom keeps going, "What are you spending so much money for?" <laughs> <laughs> well as usual stuff. guys please do share like subscribe yeah. tell two friends tell everybody man this is this is this is some fun stuff here and we really hope you guys enjoyed oh, us making some pinhole cameras please leave thing, us a comment one thing, if we're, we're gonna we gotta say hi to bob's mom oh bob's uh, mom one of our you. biggest fans thanks bob's mom bob's mom is one of our biggest fans bob told us herself but so. we actually saw bob recently she stopped yep. by uh if you don't know who bob is uh we'll leave a link in the description who bob is somewhere <laughs> but yes yes and she told us that her mom watches our videos and laughs and laughs and laughs so and laughs and, and laughs, laughs and laughs because Evidently, somebody out there thinks we're funny. Well, it's always one. There's one. So there's one. And then we appreciate that one. <laughs> we do. Well, that's it for us, guys. We'll Thanks. see you all later. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. There you go. Oh, man. That's a lot lower seat than normal. It is. You know what? The camera is so close over here. Oh, well, you know. <laughs>